Hey Sabre fans, Darth Alice here again and just wanted to show you this newly finished TFU2 that I've done and I've built many of these and got a few left. This one is one that I uh, I did a few different things on and as each is coming through they're all end up being a different Sabre when they're finished. Of course with this one uh, my client requested a heavy aging on it with the pitting and everything that you see, blackening agents, um, also the original stock switches that come with the kit, the Delrin insert for the eye that came with the kit. I also made of course a custom blade plug that I like for these because of the extended shroud and again you can see all the aging. Leather wrap, this is all of course an aged uh, goat skin thin type brown leather and with all of that let's see the reveal on this one. Now again as I've mentioned in other videos this is a simple operation just an allen key or anything you can depress the pin with and it just takes a slight bit of pressure and pops that loose. One thing I do to all of these is I'll, I take and uh, cut in a small slot right here as a pin, uh, guide for the pin to be able to make it to the hole easily. And with this one you can see I went three, through and reused one of the original brass radiator fin chambers from the first run of these sabers from a couple years ago. And then you can see 3D printed chassis by Darth Ryo in white strong flexible painted to match to look like an aged bronze. Um, for the soundboard I've got an Igniter 2 R2 firmware on this one which is great. I love all the new uh, features and upgrades. Thanks again Nigon. From again Nigon Electronics. 28 millimeter Railmaster speaker Nigon Electronics um, NEC Cree, red, green, royal, blue. Um, we've got a very thin 5 millimeter, 1 millimeter tall actually, that runs this uh, crystal chamber to give me the clearance I needed. All the wiring is done with military spec 28, 30, and 32 all weather gauge, Teflon coated, solid, and, and, uh, and strand core. So there we go, there's the whole saber. Let's hear this thing boot up. And I added a blinky to it just so you can see what's going on. Yep, and it has the FX pack that's set for idle. I dialed it up enough where it comes on about every 20, 15, 20 seconds. See the chamber doing its thing. And of course, let's see with the blade. Dual phase. Beautiful purple. Now, of course, this thing's going to get louder when you put a shroud on it because it directs the sound. What's nice about Igniter R2, the new firmware, is that any changes made per font, you can change it in all of the fonts without having to open each font to make that happen. This one's got an ambience track. It has, I think I've got seven or eight different hums per font on this, so it's going to randomly pick a different hum per font.
Beautiful yellow blade. This thing has 16 different fonts on it. It could take me a while to go through all of them. I'll go to my favorite one. Cloning facility. <laughs> and with that folks once again you can see that the saber does a lot of neat little things and again it was a fun build I'm nearly done with these I've got a few left on my plate and the next one up is going to be an elite as you can see this is a little bit simpler but still it's got all the solid parts that were originally engineered and designed for this saber so once again thank you folks for watching and may the force be with you always